L is designed to get around some of the difficulties of using using Langchain. So to be able to understand something, I always find that I have to start using it. Otherwise, I haven't got a clue. So right here, it says prompts are programs, not strings. Prompts aren't just strings. They are all the code that leads to strings being sent to a language model. In L, not E11, but L, E-L-L, -L, we think of one particular way of using a lang language model as a discrete subroutine called a language model program. So right now, I am, oh, sorry, I am running this code here, as you can see, and I have sent in two prompts already with and now they become two different versions using the same function so it can actually read more information about it and of course it came up with sam altman now i'm going to run another one on my python script over here i'm running something else currently so uh, i think it's just hello world thank you and once it runs i'll just run it again it should pop up over here And there we go. Okay, so I had to refresh it. But as you can see, the prompt or the code itself has been updated and you can see everything inside. Now you can't seem to modify anything in here, but we'll just load up my uh, VS code now onto the screen and we'll just go through some of it. Uh, give me one second. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and I'll just move this, make it a bit larger. Okay, so this is what we just ran here. It's using GPT-40 in the uh, in the prompt, and you can see that I have uh, on the sorry, excuse me, just reading it. It's easier this way. Um, so we have def hello. So that's what we were tracking over here on the left hand side. Um, so Reduce again. That's all we're tracking on hello over here and what came through. So this is the code that was run. Enthusiastic, cheerful, and uh, warm, friendly, and it took those uh, adjectives to create what we wanted. Now, I didn't find this uh, so clear to me when I first started. So I also found that if you go into the examples, which there are quite a few in here, you can also use Claude, which is quite nice and it's ready to go for using the latest cloud sonnet model which is fantastic uh, but there's also tools for using postgres and uh, you can use your llama model or llama 3 so you can run it locally and you can get it to write a story for you and it's all a lot more contained and tidy than using langchain so here is another one that i ran which was uh, oh if you run it in the examples folder it does not appear here in the um, uh, studio, which I'll also show you how to run now as well. So if we go down to studio and we just cancel that, you'll see it in the docs, but it's ELL, -L. just move that up and zoom in. Do that. ELL studio dash dash storage dot, dot log dir. Okay. Now, if you try and run that as in an example program, it will not appear in the studio itself. You have to run it outside in the L directory. And I have uh, an example of a server using Flask, which we will run now, which in my terminal, I just open up a second one. And I can go run Python uh, server 2. And when I run server 2 and I go over to here, this is the, my version. So the initial version was just like that. I don't think this will run. Oh, it does. So welcome. Hello, world. So if you go back into my code and we just look at server 2, I'm going to move this over so it's a bit more clear. I just added in requests and the flask is there, import L. So again, you can see how tiny and easy this is. You are a helpful assistant, no more information needed than that, and hello. So this is very simple and there's your flask, which will take in the name and then run it up onto the screen for you. So in root, if you go to here, 
and you have a name associated with it, which is done by going up to uh, here and you just go forward slash question mark name equals in my case on so let's say call me Bob run on GPT for all so subject welcome Bob dear Bob we are thrilled to welcome you to our team okay so it if I put in nothing world will pop up put in Bob name Bob and of course I had to put in my own uh, port address because if you're running the studio the studio is running over here and it's running on port 5000 which flask starts you off on immediately okay so I'm only starting with this, but I'm finding it quite uh, interesting. It's nice that it's smaller than using Langchain, and I like that it's, uh, I remember I stopped that over there. I like that there's, that this is really early stages, uh, which means that there's a lot to come. Oh yeah, when you first start off, uh, it looks like you don't have any language models loaded, okay? That's not true. Um, but we're running a server at the same time. So let's stop our server and then go back into L Sorry for the discombobulation here and start again. Back into here, load that up and there you go. You're back in here. Currently I haven't found this doing anything for me. Um, of course it wouldn't because I'm, it's meant to be like a viewing. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So I haven't found this doing anything for me because this is more like a viewing window of your prompts and little chains that it goes through. So you can uh, program it all out and run it and then see what happened when you were actually working on it. I think there's more to come with it. Um, again, this is on 0 0.006. Uh, of the version. It's brand new. It's made by a guy that used to work in OpenAI. And um, yeah, it's worth keeping an eye on. Okay. Have a nice day, everyone.